In today's video, you're gonna learn how to generate voiceovers for your YouTube videos using AI voice generator tools. So today's video is all about free AI voice generators, and this is a free alternative for wellsaidlabs.com. So if you don't know what Wellsaid Labs is, it's a, a AI voice generator tool that sounds very human. But a lot of people have been asking me, is there a free alternative? So Wellsaid Labs used to be free when I made that video, but unfortunately they made some new updates and the free version is very limited. So you have to upgrade at least to the $50 per month version or the $99 per month version to get some um, limita get get rid of the limitations or to get more flexibility. So I've been doing some research for some free alternatives and I found a stack of tools that you guys can use to create completely free voiceovers that sound very human. So I know that the number one question that I'll get in the comments below is can I use these voiceovers to monetize my YouTube videos? And the answer is yes, as long as the voiceovers sound very, very human. So I'm gonna show you guys some examples of two different channels. One is monetized, the other one is not monetized. One is, uh, they're both using AI voice generated tools, but one sounds very human and the other one sounds very robotic. So if, you're, if the voiceover sounds very robotic, you, you'll just get demonetized right away. But if you create a voiceover that sounds very human, then it will stay monetized. And I'll show you how to make it sound human in today's video. But before we actually get started, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and comment down below with any questions or video requests that you have. And if you do all three of those things, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. So YouTube Masterclass is packed with everything that you need to know about how to launch your YouTube channel, how to grow the YouTube channel and how to uh, monetize the YouTube channel in multiple ways. So if you want to win this course, all you need to do is hit the like button, subscribe uh, to the channel and comment down below. So I do this every single week and, and I pick a new winner every single week. So let's pick last week's winner. So I'm going to go to last week's video, copy the link and I use this website called pickawinner.co and it goes through everyone that's liked the video, subscribed to the channel and commented on the video and it's going to pick a random winner. So let's pick a winner. So SoundFX library is, so you are the winner of uh, today's uh, video. All you need to do is email me with this Gmail account. So you should have a Gmail account. Just email me at help at dreamcloudacademy.com. I'll leave um, my email at the bottom of this video's description. So just email me with your Gmail account and I'll give you access to the course. So if you want to win just like sound effects library, all you need to do is uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment down below. So with that said, let's get started with today's video. So first, I just want to show you an example of a monetized channel that uses AI voice generators. So this is a channel called Movies Vibes and they've got 57,000 subscribers and they're getting a lot of views. So this channel only uses uh, AI generated voiceovers. And you can see if you click on some of their videos, the channel is monetized. So there's an ad popping up right here. If I go into another video, there's another ad right here. And if I hit play, just notice how the voice sounds. Games. Through Jun Ho's eyes, viewers get an in-depth look into the day-to-day -day operations of Squid Game. This includes how workers live and work on the island, the black so market. So you can clearly tell that this is an AI generated voice. Now the voiceover that we're going to create is a way better quality and it sounds way more human. But I just want to show you this as an example that even when it sounds this robotic, this channel still stayed monetized. So there's a difference between an, an AI generated voiceover software and a text to speech software. So if you're going to use a text to speech software, then you're much more likely to get demonetized. So that sounds too robotic and YouTube doesn't like that. So you'll get demonetized. But if you use an AI ge uh, voice generator, then you're much more likely to stay monetized. And you, you should also put in the effort to make it s sound more human, even more human th than this one right here. And I'll show you how in today's video. So the voiceover that we're going to use is called murph.ai. So this is free to use. They also have an upgraded version as well. So just go to murph.ai and I'll leave a link to it in the description below and sign up for a free account. So let's just go into pricing first and let me show you the free version and the basic 
uh, and the pro version as well. So in the free version, you can use all the 100 plus AI voiceovers that they have or the voices that they have. You can create 10 minutes of voice generation, which is more than enough. So if you're creating like a 10 minute video, then you can just use the 10 minutes that they have right here in the free version. Uh, they also have 10 minutes of transcription, which is for the script. We don't really need that. But in the free version, they don't have a downloads option. So you can't download it unless you upgrade. But I'm going to show you but towards the end of the video how to get around this for free. So we're just simply just going to use a free um, recorder that simply creates the a voiceover in Murph.ai. Murph and then we're going to use a free um, uh, desktop uh, audio recorder to record the voiceover. And that way, you can just take the uh, voiceover for free. So let's get started now. So just go up and sign up to Murph.ai. And once you sign up, this is what your dashboard will look like. So just click on my project right here and click on new project. So I'm going to name this uh, story brand review, which is a book review called story brand. And so that's the video that we're going to create today or the voiceover that we're going to create today. And right here, you can upload some videos or images, but this is only if you're trying to create the video within Murph. That's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to create the voiceover within Murph. So let's click on upload later and it's going to load up the workspace for us. So right here, if you click this tab right here and click on voices, you'll see this option right here called Nate, or you'll see some name right here with an image. So these are all the different voiceovers that, that we can use. So let's click on this guy right here called Adam. And then this is where we add in the script and it's going to create the voiceover for us. So I've already got a script right here. And if you don't know how to write up a script using AI voice generated um, AI tools, I've made plenty of videos in that in the past. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. So I've already got this script written up. So I'm just going to copy this first paragraph or just this paragraph right here. And let's go into Murph and let's paste this in. And you'll notice that it takes up, um, it puts a different sentence on each line. So now that's done. And on the right hand side here, if you click on build audio, it's going to start creating that audio. So it just took that paragraph and it's going to create an audio from that paragraph. And you can see it's already done. So let's uh, rewind this back and hit play. Well, actually, it's loading it up. Okay, now it's done. So let's hit play. Let me just make sure that you guys can hear that. One story with different variations connects more deeply with people. If there are variations in the story, it's easier to remember and that's good for marketing and sales. One way this is done is by telling a complete story of a customer or product, but then giving a few different endings or twists. This way you're able to keep the person wanting to hear more stories. So that's it. So it sounds way more, um, way more uh, human. It sounds very, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of set in like a nice slow sp uh, uh, space. And it's, it's very calming as well. So there's way more different um, voice, voices that you can try out. So there's David here. So if I click on David, it's going to change it and it's going to be completely different now. But if I hit play, one story with different you'll notice that it's the, it's the same exact voice. So you have to click on build audio again. So then it kind of rebuilds that audio with David instead of uh, Adam right here. So let's uh, wait for this to finish. So it's going to finish that right here. And let's hit play. One story with different variations connects more deeply with people. If there are variations in the story, it's easier to remember. So this this one sounds a bit more robotic than the Adam Adam one. So maybe I'll just leave it on Adam. So now uh, you can also change up the speed right here. You can see there's the conversational, there's a, a newscast, there's speed, there's volume. There's pronunciation, so if there's certain words that you want to change to, to a different pronunciation, you can do, do that right here. Um, but usually I just leave all of this as it is, unless there's a word that it's pronouncing um, you know, completely wrong. So let's say it's the word variation, you just put in the alternative right here and click on save. So I'm not sure exactly how, how often they will let you change the uh, pronunciation. Maybe you have to upgrade once you uh, add in a certain amount of words but you can do some uh, free ones right here. So I'm just going to hit cancel there. Uh, there's soundtrack, so you can add your own soundtrack right here. So if I go into upload and choose from browse clips, let me just choose a soundtrack. 
So it's going to upload that right here. And it's going to add that into the audio track right here. So once you upload the audio track, you have to click on build audio again. So every time you want to hear the preview, you have to click on build audio. So now it just added in the soundtrack. So I just clicked on build audio. So now it's going to add in the audio plus the voiceover on top of that. So it's creating that right here. There we go. So now let's hit play. One story with different variations connects more deeply with people. If there are variations. So you can see this sounds a bit too loud. So if you really wanted to uh, change up the, the voice um, and the, the volume of the background music, you, it's probably better to do that on like a video editor or something like that. So I wouldn't recommend, you know, adding the background music on Murph.ai, but if you really wanted to, you can do so right here. So I'm going to hit delete on this one. Uh, it's right click and click on delete soundtrack and it's going to delete that. So now you just keep going. So just click on plus and then you can add in another voiceover. So let's click on this and let's maybe go to the next paragraph right here. So let's copy this. And the neat thing about Murph is that it automatically, when I just uh, uh, right click and paste it, it just automatically adds each sentence on a different line. So it just makes it easier for the voiceover to create that. On other tools, you have to kind of do all of this manually. You have to add in the different um, lines in manually. You have to add in different commas in there manually, but it automatically de detects, oh, this is one sentence. And that should be on one line. This is the second sentence that should be on the second line and so on. So now if I click on build the audio again, it's going to add in the next voiceover right here. So there we go. So now let's just hit play on the whole thing without the background music and see how this sounds. So let me just click on build audio again. Oh, it already uh, built it, but I just accidentally. Oh, there we go. One story with different variations connects more deeply with people. If there are variations in the story, it's easier to remember and that's good for marketing and sales. One way this is done is by telling a complete story of a customer or product, but then giving a few different endings or twists. This way you're able to keep the person wanting to hear more stories. This method is done all the time by TV shows, movies and books. This isn't new to the marketing world or blogging slash online media. The reason why this works so well is because of how we as consumers remember things. We tend to remember stories better than facts and statistics. Stories gives us more credibility, a voice for our product and gives us a story to talk about. So perfect. So the only thing that it got wrong was the slash right here. So instead of saying slash, I'll probably just get rid of that slash and add something else in. And let's say I only want to hear this line right here. Just click play right here on this line. And it'll this only to the marketing world. And it's only going to play that line right there. So that's it. So now how do I get this voiceover for free? Because if I try to download, it's going to ask me to upgrade. So I don't want to upgrade. I just want to get it for free. So for this, I use this tool called OBS. So just go to Google and just search up OBS or just go to obsproject.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And this software works both for Windows, Macs and for Linux as well. This is the software that I use to record uh, all of my videos. So I s j simply just use a screen recorder and this is the software right here. It just records the screen and it also records the audio from the desktop. So you can see right here, there's an option called desktop audio and it's recording everything that's being played on the desktop right now. So if I play a YouTube video, it's going to record the audio from the YouTube video. If I play the voiceover, it's going to record the audio from that voiceover. So once you download it, for free, you can just click on this little plus icon right here and you'll have display capture or audio output capture right here. So if you click on that and just click on OK, so I'm not going to click on OK right now because I've already got it. Um, you can see desktop audio right here. So now it's you'll have that option and it's going to record everything from the desktop. So any type of music you're playing, any type of uh, voiceover that you're playing will get recorded. So simply just click on start record recording right here and then go into the voiceover and just hit play and start recording the voiceover. So you have to record it from start to finish or you have to, you know, do it bit by bit. So maybe do the first paragraph first, record that, then just click on stop recording. Then you'll have a video with the voiceover. So you pretty much just downloaded the voiceover for free. So that's just kind of an alternative way to kind of get this uh, voiceover for free instead of uh, upgrading to the $19 per month version, which will actually limit you 
to the amount of uh, voiceovers that you can download. So that's how you uh, that's how I use this software for free. Uh, go out and try this. Just use both Murph and OBS to uh, to get it completely for free and try to create some voiceovers. So that's it for today's video. If you have any other questions, make sure you comment down below. In just a few weeks time, I have a huge announcement coming. That's a new tool that I've been working on. So I'll be releasing that tool very soon. It's a bunch of different tools. Some, uh, uh, some will help you create content. Some will help you uh, get more views. Some will help you do some market research. This new tool will come with the YouTube Masterclass course. So that's going to be a, that's probably the biggest update that I've ever done to the course and probably the biggest launch that I've ever done on this channel. So I'm really excited about that. That's coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell. And uh, when I do release that, I'll notify, notify you guys very soon. So that's it for today's video and I'll see you in the next week's video.